Hello traders and thanks for tuning in to this week's market outlook from Exynos. In this video we're giving a possible idea for a trade over the next few days the narratives that might drive that movement and what traders who were to take the position would need to be aware of. But before that let's look back at the performance of last week's idea. Last week the idea was a possible buy for Bitcoin around the comments from Jerome Powell at the Fed's press conference with a possible move up to 31,000 or 32,000. The idea wasn't triggered at the time, but is possibly still active with that move up still might um, occurring by Bitcoin. Now for this week's idea, I'm Michael Stark, Financial Content Manager, and here to give the idea is Andreas Themister Claes, Trading Specialist. Thank you, Andreas, for being here. Hello, Michael, and thanks for having me. And what's the idea for this week, Andreas? What do you think is a possible position that traders might want to take? Well, I am thinking of a potential long position on Euro USD pair but not immediately, rather after some rebound around the 1.09 price area with a potential target around 1.11 or even higher. The price has been trading in a strong downward movement for the last two weeks, pushing the stochastic oscillator in the extreme oversold levels. On the other hand, the 50-day simple moving average has crossed above the 100-day simple moving average, recently indicating that the bullish momentum might be building up. The area of 1.09 is not a random level, but rather a strong technical support area consisting of the lower band of the Bollinger Bands, the 100-day moving average, and the 78.6% of the daily Fibonacci retracement level. If this price level proves to be strong and we see the price reacting to the upside, we might be able to take advantage of the correction move. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the most important narratives that are driving that potential move up by Eurodollar? So uh, this week we saw the flash figures from Europe about GDP and inflation, both declining at 0.6 and 5.3% respectively, without any positive effect on the Euro against its pairs. Also, the dollar index is trading in a rather aggressive bullish rally in the short term. On the other hand, based on technical analysis, the index might be about to correct to the downside since it is trading at an area where the 50 and the 100 day moving averages are crossing, as well as the upper band of the Bollinger Bands and the 78.6% of the Fibonacci are acting currently as a resistance. If we see a correction on the dollar index, it is possible to expect a reaction on the fiber chart to the upside. And lastly, Andres, can you summarize the most important events that traders who were to take the position would need to be aware of this week? Okay, so in terms of economic data for this week, we have the US services PMI on Thursday the 3rd for the month of July, where market expectations are for a decline in the figure to reach 53 against the previous 53.9. This means that the services sector in the States is declining even though they are still above the 50 level, indicating that the services sector is still expanding. Also, the most major publication for this week is the American Job Report, where the unemployment rate is expected to remain stable at 3.6%, while non-farm payrolls are expected to decline to 200,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Andreas. So in summary, the idea for a potential trade this week is a buy for euro dollar, not immediately after the price retraces to around 109, with a possible target around 111 or higher. Some of the important narratives driving that potential move up by euro dollar are decreasing inflation in the eurozone, as well as a possible retracement by the dollar index. And the most important release to be watching this week is the US job report on Friday, but we're also looking at service PMI from the USA. So thank you very much, Andres, for being here and for giving us the idea for the trade and the narratives for this week. Thank you very much, Michael. And remember that this is just an idea for a trade. It's not a signal and it's not a guarantee of a success. Make sure that you always do your own research and manage risk and hopefully see you again for the next idea next week.